Hello YouTube, this is Selena. I am a digital artist and animator and I am here with a quick mini tutorial of um, my pre-production process using color scripts and storyboarding. So I'm making a short film and I thought that I should um, document how I go about making my short animation film and the whole process. So this part is just color scripts and how I go about doing that in Photoshop. So uh, if you don't know what a color script is, it's really, really cool. These are examples of color scripts from Pixar, so obviously they're going to be pretty amazing. It's from The Incredibles. Um, basically, color scripts give a more detailed look into how the final film will, will turn out. So it gives really great examples of the mood, the lighting, the colors. It's really wonderful and I definitely encourage you to check out more color scripts online. These are pretty awesome. So anyway, mine um, are not quite as polished as those, but I thought it would be better to use color scripts to help me kind of map out what my film is going to look like. So in Photoshop, I have this blank, blank template that I got off the internet, I just typed into Google um, storyboard panels and you can just get um, these images with an alpha, so it's just the panels and it's see-through, and then I added a gray background. And then on top of that, I add a layer called palette, which is just my colors that I can, you know, go to whenever I want to paint. Um, and I can always add more colors whenever I feel like it, which is great. So after that, I have the individual panels themselves. So um, if I were to create just a new layer, um, I can, I'm painting out of the lines, I'm kind of over the panel, and uh, I don't really like that. I like to be more free with my painting. So that's the reason that I make layers for each one of my panels. Um, I put them into groups. Sorry, so this one, panel one, which is the panel you see over here, I made it into a group with the mask, and now I have all these different parts inside the layers. You can see they're kind of popping up and whatnot. So anytime I add a new layer in this specific group on panel one, I can only color inside of panel one, which is super helpful when you are a very messy painter like myself. So, um, that's exactly what we have in panel two as well. You can go ahead and color all you want without going on the lines. So I'm gonna show you how exactly I did this. So I only did the first four of the top row. So I'll show you with this bottom one in case you're not sure how to make these groups. So the first thing is to make a new group. Ba -da -da, and I'm gonna name that panel, panel five. This is the next one, so panel five and I make a new layer inside that group. So now we have panel five and it's in a new layer and I'm going to just use the rectangular marquee to carefully draw a rectangle inside the black lines. Uh, it's important that it's inside the black lines and not over the black lines. Like the, la the black lines aren't included inside the marquee because if they are, then when you start coloring, it'll actually change your black lines to whatever color you're painting with. So mine up here, you can see there's like a border of black around my painting, which I like. I mean, if you don't, you can you can do whatever method you like. So now I'm gonna change this into a mask. And once I click on this mask tool down here, see how everything is black except for that one little white panel in there? So basically that means that anything on this layer that I made um, will only be shown inside of that white panel. That's the beauty of masks. Now. I want it to be in the whole group though, I, because if I made a new layer in this group, um, that mask would not apply to that layer. So all I have to do is click and drag the mask to the top, and now both of these layers are going to have the same property that I can only draw in the lines. So that is the most helpful thing ever for me, so that I can go ahead and draw as messy as I want inside the panels, and I could pick from my palette, draw this crazy background, the layer on top of it, I'm going to make the foreground, and I don't have to worry about coloring in the lines or anything like that. And then I can make another layer, whoops, I was in the group, and make another layer, drag it in the group, 
make a dark gloomy background color and it just goes behind everything and it's just super super quick simple way to do your color scripts you can also apply the same technique to storyboards it doesn't have to just be for color scripts and then i can close the group and now i have five neatly made panels that i can go crazy with this is panel four and just continue to have fun with that so um, the arrows I put out of the layers because these will just be, you know, for example, if I was going to pan or something like that, because I'm kind of making them uh, color script slash storyboards to help me um, figure stuff out and just plan out my film. Um, but again, you can use whatever method you like. Um, this is just my process of using Photoshop. And I hope that you found this a little helpful, and I'm going to finish this soon and post the final results of my color boards. So thanks so much for watching.